John, should we use SPM for modules or just add new target? SPM is working pretty well for us. But if everything is in the same repository, like a mono repo, mono repo is different than monolith. Mono repo is not a monolith. Mono repo just means that you have all your modules in the same repository. That's it, mono repo, one repository. Yeah. But inside this repository, you can have many modules. Actually, big applications do this, big teams do this, and it works pretty well. Because then you don't need to be managing versioning of yeah. modules. It simplifies maintenance. Now, inside this mono repo, which is not a monolith, you still have many modules, but they are all in under the same repository. If you have one repository only, you can just add new targets in the same project. Or you can use SPM with local modules as well. They both work. You, you use whatever makes sense to your application. If it's a small application, one project only, keeping everything in the same target, in the same project, in different targets, that's easy to do, that's simple. But then if you have a mono repo with many projects, SPM can become more handy instead of adding projects inside of projects in workspaces, like it can become really messy. Then you can use SPM. Or CocoaPods also works with local packages, local pods. Another advantage of SPM is if you now, it's not a mono repo, you have many repositories, then you cannot use it new, just different targets. You actually need to fetch those dependencies from different repositories, then SPM becomes handy. SPM and CocoaPods and so on, Carthage. Yeah. 